Hello and welcome to 7 Days of Science. Coming up this week, dueling dinosaurs, extinction and... A duck! Starting off the news this week, a Chinese rocket called Chang'e 5 launched on Tuesday in a bid to return lunar material from the moon to Earth for the first time in nearly half a decade. China will be the third country to do this, if it is successful, after the USA and Soviet Union. Despite various setbacks, China's lunar missions have actually been relatively successful, and there are high hopes and indeed high confidence in the success of this mission. It's worth noting that the samples that this mission will pick up will not nearly be as old as those picked up before, only 1.3 billion years, whereas other samples have been 3.4 billion years old. Next, we have some news that technically happened last week, but we missed it and it's very exciting, so we're talking about it now instead. The famous dueling dinosaur specimen, a fantastic fossil preserving a young Tyrannosaurus and Triceratops apparently locked in combat, has now been acquired by the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. This is brilliant news, as the specimen had been hidden away from scientists and the public for over a decade as illegal battles over who had the right to it raged on. Now though, it will finally be able to be studied by paleontologists and will be revealed to the public in 2022. We can only imagine the incredible discoveries that will be made from this remarkable specimen, so very exciting news indeed. And now over to Ben, who's got something to say. Thanks Doug. Also in the news is the great discovery of another species of Gastornis, the infamous terror duck as I like to call it, from deposits in southwestern France. This locality has previously produced fossils that were referred to the type species Gastornis parisiensis, but new fossils collected in 2018 included an almost complete mandible from this genus that displays a different enough morphology that it can be named as a new species, Gastornis laurenti. The paper also emphasises the remarkable morphological diversity of the Gastornis genus, which existed for about 17 million years in Europe. And finally is a very interesting study that has aimed to determine whether or not the non-avian dinosaurs were slowly declining in diversity just before the end Cretaceous mass extinction. This is an idea that has been discussed many times before, proposing that the non-avian dinosaurs were already dying out and the asteroid impact and volcanism was simply the final blow. However, using certain models, this study has found evidence to support the conclusion that dinosaur speciation rates were not declining before the extinction, and they were still very capable of generating new taxa. The study also advises that caution should be taken in interpreting these sorts of models' results though, as the underlying data is very complex, and it also suggests that collecting more dinosaur occurrence data will be essential to further test ideas of dinosaur extinction. So some very interesting paleontology news this week. Back to Doug in the studio. Thank you, Ben. Well, that's it for this week. I do hope you enjoyed, and as always, we'll see you on...